welcome to another reading vlog. So today is actually a very special day because school was canceled for today. We have like this big snowstorm. We're supposed to get like 30 centimeters of snow, which is about like a foot. So yeah, they canceled it last night. So I was really excited. So this is like my uh, snow day edition. So today's Friday and so I'll vlog Friday, Saturday and Sunday just for the weekend. And I've had like a four day weekend because I don't have classes Thursday. So like it's and I don't have any homework so like it's just a really strange weekend all around. So as you can see like I've been watching the Olympics. This was the moguls that was on um, last night I want to say. So I'm, I like I'm a huge Olympic fan like I have my Canada sweater on like I live for the Olympics like I'm so excited. So like that's basically what I'm going to be doing It's be a mix of reading and watching the Olympics because like I deeply deeply love the olympics um like just my whole family's obsessed and one of my cousins actually won gold so that's pretty neat um but yeah so i'm just gonna be doing that and bring you guys bring you guys along for the journey so currently i'm reading sapiens but in this book i actually weighed it and it's almost three pounds like so it's very very deceivingly heavy um, but that's why I'm currently reading and I want my goal is to finish it this weekend and I feel like I should have time because I'm in between watching the Olympics and all that like I don't have anything else to do and like it's weird so like I only have school next week Monday and Tuesday because my program's going to a conference I'm not going to it but so I get to go home and then the week after that is our like reading week so like it's just really weird all around February is just a weird month and so yeah four day weekend and then like a week and a half break so yeah so today I have to actually venture out in the snow and let my car run for a little bit um just because I don't drive it every day and it's cold out so I do get a little worried um so I'll do probably that in a little bit maybe around lunchtime. I don't know but I'm a Canadian, I can tough it out. And then later this evening, even though it's the opening ceremonies today for the Olympics, I'm going to my friend's birthday party. We're gonna do like a little movie night. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be going over there. I'm probably gonna walk there because I don't wanna drive. Um, and it's like a five minute walk, so it shouldn't be too bad. I'll just have to wear my snow boots. Um, but yeah, that's the plan for today. Saturday, I have no plans. And then Sunday I work 12 to 4 and then I don't have anything else. And like I said, I don't have any homework. It's so weird. Like, because I was expecting, like, for one of my classes I already did it. So I already turned that in. And then for my other class we were having, like, a guest lecture come in. And we usually have an assignment for that. But classes were cancelled. So I don't have any homework to do. So no exams, no nothing. So... Yeah, it's a pretty, I'm pretty happy and stoked for this week. But yeah, in the meantime, I'm just be kind of chilling out watching the Olympics, like, and all that. So I think there is the women's pre qualification for the moguls, the men's, and then I'll watch some curling and then get a few pages in here. Let's see what currently I'm, I'm on page 128. I really like it so far. It is pretty um, in depth and he does cover a lot of things in here but I am really liking it so far so like I said the goal is to finish this because I have a lot of books that I need to read this month So it is 11.35 and I just got back. I just sat in my car and let it run for a little bit because it is a little chilly. Um, just to get it a little, going a little bit. Um, but yeah, you saw like we have, we're getting a lot of snow and like this is like we're more is supposed to come and the worst part of the storm's coming. So I'm just finishing up watching up the moguls and I'm just enjoying a nice cup of tea right here. But I think after this is done, I'm going to start my um, reading for... Um, Sapien. So I'm trying, like, I tried to find the audiobook version so that, like, I could simultaneously watch the Olympics and listen to it, but they were all checked out at the libraries, all three libraries that I'm a part of. Um, so that's a bummer, but 
that's okay so i'm gonna start reading that for a little bit and i think like this is like honestly like people who do this are nuts like i honestly like i've torn my acl twice and just like watching this makes my knee hurt and like oh it's crazy like i honestly don't know how they do it that's crazy like who was the first person to decide we're gonna like run down like ski down these hills with all these bumps and do like tricks and all that like i think that's honestly crazy so you can see here I have a, my crocheting thing. I'm doing this like big, let's see if I can get a picture. Yeah, I'm doing like for graduation in April, I'm doing, I'm crocheting this for my classmates and then one for my teachers as well. So I have to do 25. So I finished the bodies, now I'm doing the eyes and then I have to do like the rest of the heads and the wings. So like my goal is to get all that crocheting stuff done before I go home on Tuesday. Um, and then I'll like stitch them all together and stuff them when I'm there. So like that's like another big like thing that I have to do this weekend. Um, so I've been like doing these eyes. These eyes are really quick so that's good and I don't really have to think about it. I just have to do them which is good. Um, so yeah. Um, <laughs> that's another big task that I have to do this weekend. But yeah like I said I'm gonna start um, reading this once this is done I like I enjoy watching this so much like it's actually like as I was like thank goodness I'm gonna be home for most of the like I'll be home up until the closing ceremonies so I get to watch a lot of the Olympics when I'm at home so I'm really excited about that um, but yeah that's what I'm gonna be doing right now and start some reading and just relax for a little bit I'm not really hungry for lunch right now so maybe I'll just have like a light snack later on but yeah, that is the plan for today. You can see like I'm enjoying my time because once I get back from break, I have to start studying for my comprehensives. So, you know, this is my last little couple weeks of freedom before the hardcore studying starts. guys so it is 5 18 now it's been a while since i checked up with you guys around like 11 30 um so yeah i'm actually very pleased i read i completely finished the sapiens i read like 300 pages i was like i'm just gonna finish this book um and so yeah i actually really enjoyed it i would give it a four out of five stars i wish it was more kind of evolutionary based it kind of focused more on kind of like the 1400s and onwards of humans and um, just kind of it focused like on religion and all that so like I did find some aspects especially kind of the religion part to just drag on and on so I kind of like skimmed through it but overall like I really enjoyed it and he does kind of leave some open ending of like where humans are going to be going in the future um, which is his new book Homo Deus that I got for Christmas so yeah I gave this a four to five stars it was really interesting and just kind of learning how we evolved from different societies and like why we are the way that we are now was really interesting again like I said I wish it was more kind of evolutionary based and kind of talking more about like Australopithecines I thought it was more kind of that direction this one's more cultural and kind of as so I said I didn't like the religion it talked went too much into it and I felt some of it was just like unnecessary but other than that like I enjoyed it I gave it a four out of five stars so yeah the next book I will be picking up is actually my book club pick that I need to get done very soon it is The House at Riverton by Kate Morton so I'm really excited to pick this one up I'm hoping it will give me down snappy vibes because I think um, I'm on episode four out of nine for the last season so I'm like savoring it so I'm hoping this one I would really enjoy and I love Kate Morton she's one of my favorite authors so I'll be picking this one up probably later tonight I don't know how late I'm gonna be going out for it is still snowing out we still have like a good yeah we probably have like a good 30 centimeters now just been so much snowing all day so in the meantime I'm gonna have dinner in a little bit I have the um, Canada versus Finland um, mix curling on right now because I am the stereotypical Canadian so I've been watching I just have that on right now and then I'll probably watch the opening ceremonies tomorrow so yeah I'm just putting my bookmark in here and um yeah so I'll be going to my friend's birthday little thing around probably leave around like 6 40 um so that gives me like an hour an hour and a half ish 
Um, but yeah, this will be one I'll probably be picking up when I get back. I don't plan on staying out too late. You never know. Because um, we are going to be watching a movie. They said they'd probably start at around 7.30. So, yeah. So, in the meantime, like, I've literally just sat on the couch. So, I actually have to do some bullet journaling stuff. Because I actually haven't done my bullet journal in a while. And need to do my crocheting, meet my crocheting quota for the day. So, yeah. The work is not done. So, yeah. That's going to be the plan for the rest of the evening. And I will catch up with you guys in a little bit. Alrighty guys, I'm about to head out for the evening, so I will let you guys know when I get back. Depending on how late I get home, I'll probably get, like read a little bit in here, maybe a couple pages uh, in the house at Riverton. So yeah, I will catch up with you guys in a little bit. It's a bit still snowing outside, so I'm trekking through the snowstorm for this, but it's okay. It's going to be a good night. <laughs> home right now it's 10 o'clock um, but it's so nice outside so I'm just enjoying my time in the snow and no it's a lot of fun I like being it's not too cold out it's pretty mild so given the circumstances but yeah look at all this it's so pretty the little winter my little winter wonderland but just me so yeah makes you feel small I guess is <laughs> one way of looking at it. So yeah, I'm just enjoying my winter wonderland little walk. So yeah, we just watched um, Inside Out, a little bit of the Olympics. Um, yeah, <laughs> usually 10 o'clock is when I call it time for Lexi to go. So yeah, just enjoying my little walk. But like, look at this, like, I can't get over it. It's so pretty, this campus is so nice, so I'd be sad to be see it go in a little bit, but yeah, just enjoying my, my snowy walk. Alrighty guys, so it is 10.30 now, so I just have my nice little tea here steeping. And yeah, I'm just gonna read my book until I fall asleep, so. Yeah, I'm really excited to pick this one up. It's a book club pick, and I think it's worked out that I've done every two months for these, because um, so, it's just been so busy, and I've been wanting to like kind of get the books off my shelf. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead. Sorry, I have dry shampoo in my hair. That's why my hair is a little I'm looking like Quelladville. But yeah, tomorrow is gonna be a little bit of a different day. So my goal is to get a big chunk of this. Done, maybe even read it for the weekend that's maybe wishful thinking it's just under 500 pages and this author is like I don't know like I've done it before I've read like 300 pages of her other books in one day so maybe that will be a possibility who knows but yeah tomorrow um, I just have to do some tidying up because I'll be leaving on Tuesday to go back home so I have to do vacuuming dusting cleaning laundry um, I have to do my crocheting quota because I didn't really do much um, today for in that area. And yeah, just watch the Olympics. I'm going to watch the opening ceremonies in the morning and just laundry. So yeah, that's the plan for tomorrow. So yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow morning bright and early.
it's Saturday and it is 10.51, so it's been a while. I got up around 10, so I slept in, but I feel a cold coming, which I'm a little bit worried because there's been strep throat bronchitis going around in my program, so I'm hoping it's not like that, but I'm not feeling so good this morning. I woke up and I was like, no, because I've been doing so well. I haven't been sick all school year. Um, but yeah, so I just did a load of laundry, so I, have to, I just uh, switched them so it should be ready in probably like half an hour or so. So after that, you can see I did some vacuuming, dusting, getting everything ready. So when I leave um, on Tuesday, like I'll be coming back to a nice apartment. Yeah, but last night I did read the first chapter. I'm on page 18. And oh my goodness, you guys, like the, this first chapter was amazing. I was like, oh, it, like it gripped me right away. So I'm really excited to pick this one up. But I want to watch the opening ceremonies today and I have to do my crocheting. So that's what I'm going to be doing for at least the first part of the day. Um, so yeah, like I said, my crocheting is back there and I have my quota to do. But yes, this one, I'm so happy I picked this one up and chose it for my book club. It is giving me down to nappy vibes, like just mentioning like footmen and all that. So yeah, I'm really, really excited. So I have a feeling that I'm really going to be loving this book. But yeah, like I said, I'm just going to be watching the opening ceremonies and some more Olympic things. It's still snowing outside, which is crazy. So like the tail end of the storm and we're kind of at the tail end. So probably by the end of today, it'll probably stop snowing. But yeah, we're it's a little winter wonderland out there. But yeah, I'm just going to watch the opening ceremonies, start crocheting. I'm just going to be doing the eyes so that I'm done with this one color. Um, so I have to do 50 of them. So but they're very quick. Um, so wish me luck. It's been a while since I checked in, but in the meantime, I've crocheted 25 of the little eyes. Um, so, yeah, I'm halfway there for that, but my goal is to get as much done, and if not, I'll, I can bring it to work with me tomorrow. But I watched the opening ceremony, so that's out of the way. I really, like, I really enjoy watching all that. Um, so, yeah, I have a couple things. I think there is the, what do I want to watch today? There is the um, snowboarding qualifications that I need to watch. Um, and then I don't really care about this. Look, I'm looking at the things here. Um, trying to see. There's luge, speed skating, curling, um, biathlon, which I don't really care too much about. But there's a lot of stuff going on, so I want to watch all that. But in the meantime, I do feel like a cold is coming. I do have like a bit of a funky head and my eyes and the body aches. So I'm going to have a nice warm bath. Um, so yeah, like it's just been relaxing so far. I was on the phone with my sister for like over an hour and a half. So it was fun just talking to her. I cleaned up my purse in the meantime, got some new songs. So I'll be listening to that when I'm in the tub. Um, so yeah, let's just go pick out my Lush bath bomb that I'll be using. Um, cause I do have some new ones that I maybe will try or cause or there's like some older ones I want to use up. So yeah, I will go see what I have. So yeah. Alrighty guys. So I have my box or like a bag of blush things. I think I might use the last half of my sex bomb one. So then I have like my newer ones. So, um, yeah, um, I think that's what I'll use actually. So I'll just kind of use that one up because I do have some like newer ones. Um, so yeah, this is like one of my favorite ones. It smells so good because I did chop it up um, that I used last week. Um, and then I have some of my uh, Lord Miss Rule one, Lord of Miss Rule, which is like one of their Christmas ones, which is one of my favorites. So yeah, I'll just kind of get the bath all started. So yeah, because like my head, like you know when you're sick and like your head's funny or like you're like my whole face hurts and I just kind of have the general body ache so I'm hoping this little bath will kind of help me a little bit so yeah <music> So it is 
5.40 now, so I've done 35 of the eyes. So I'm getting there, I'm getting there. 15 more and then I'll be done. Um, but yeah, I'm just currently watching The Office. Um, and I think either the Olympic coverage starts at seven or eight, I have to double check. Um, but yeah, I'm just making some dinner. I'm just having some soup. I'm Like I said, I'm not feeling too good, um, but my bath did kind of help relax me a little bit, even though I still feel like I got hit by a truck. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to be eating some dinner and then watch the Olympics and maybe read a little bit more. I haven't done any reading today, so I apologize that today's reading vlog hasn't been that exciting. But tomorrow, definitely, I'll be reading a little bit more um, and probably before I go to bed as well. So yeah, that's currently the plan. I think figure skating's on tonight, which is one of my favorites. So definitely, we'll be watching that tonight and getting these darn eyes done. <laughs> So it is 9.40 and I just finished watching um, the snowboarding one. Canada got silver and bronze, which is very good. Um, but I finally finished, you can see here, I finally finished my 50 eyes. So I have them in like groups of 10, but yeah. 50 is quite a lot. Even though they're really quick, they just take, it just takes a long time. So it took basically the whole day. So I still have to do the heads with this yarn and the wings. So I don't know, I'll probably bring it to work with me. <laughs> yeah, so I think they said that figure skating is on after this, but I think I'm gonna be going to bed. I'm, st I'm not feeling too good. Um, there's been, like I said, there's been like the play going around my program. So I think I've finally picked it up. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna watch the little ceremony here and grab my book and Go to bed. So I'll see you guys there. Alrighty guys, so it is 10.10 now. So it's been a while since I've been up. I got up around 8 and I showered and then I just kind of got organized and all that fun stuff. So I just got off the phone with my mom and I'm just watching the figure skating that was on. Um, last night because I was like, I felt, went to bed at like quarter to 10 and as soon as my head hit the pillow I fell asleep so I didn't read anything at all so I'm still on page 18. So I promise I'll be reading a bit more of this um, today. I promise because when I'm at work I don't have anything to do. I have like one little homework assignment that I'll just probably finish within the first hour or so so I'll be there for four hours and I'll probably go back between watching the Olympics and reading this so I'll probably my goal is to get to 50 today so you know I sorry this is not this is a more Olympics heavy reading vlog than the house at, um than like books so um yeah so I'm just gonna be doing watching the uh figure skating and um crocheting like, like like yesterday as well but I have to go to work at 12 so um, I have to start doing the heads I think I got 12 heads done so these ones are a little bit quicker than like the bodies um, so yeah I'm just gonna be doing that and just getting organized and all that fun stuff so yeah I feel like I still feel a little sick like my ears are a little wonky and yeah my I've been coughing a little bit but yeah, hopefully it's nothing like too bad. So I don't know, cross my fingers, but yeah, so that's the plan right now. And then I'll just head off to work uh, for four hours and come back. I have to do packing. Um, I have to do that as well. So packing when I come home, just like clothes. I think everything else that I need to like bring home with me. Um, I already kind of have been doing like a good job at doing that. So yeah, that's just the plan for today and I promise you I'll be reading more of this um, throughout the day so yeah. Alrighty guys so it is quarter to 12 now so I'm just gonna head out 
to work for a little bit so yeah I'll probably insert some things of me finishing up the last homework assignment and then reading um I did bring my crocheting so hopefully I'll get a dent in that but I also have to edit some guitar tutorials so I don't think it will take too long um because the videos were pretty or the tutorials were pretty straightforward so yeah I'm just gonna go off to head off to work and I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit um so yeah I apologize there hasn't been a lot of reading but definitely before I go to bed tonight I'll be reading so like I said the goal is to get to 50 pages so yeah <laughs> I had a I started off on Friday really good reading and then it just been downhill so yeah I blame the Olympics but I'm a diehard Olympics fan and they only come every four years so I have an excuse but yeah I will catch up with you guys in a little bit so it is 5 55 so I've been home from work for a little bit I've been reading my book and I'm on page 52 so I've met my goal for the day but I'm really liking it it's reminding me a lot of Downton Abbey um, but yeah in the meantime like I watched the women's mogul final so Canada got silver which is good so I'm excited about that but I just have something in the oven for dinner and in the meantime I'm gonna be taking a little break from reading and watching Downton Abbey which has been my new thing I'm on you can see I'm on season 6 episode 4 so like I'm getting I'm getting close to the end here um but yeah I love this show so much like I don't know why it's taken me so long to like watch this show because I know everyone was talking about it um but yeah once I'm done my dinner I'm just gonna be crocheting my thing and doing that so yeah that's the plan for today I packed my luggage for next on Tuesday so I'm all set for that and yeah I feel very productive. It was a quiet day at work, so I got some stuff done. I edited my guitar tutorials, so yeah, I'm doing good. So I'm just gonna enjoy some Downton Abbey, and then I think when it gets closer to bedtime, once I'm like kind of done crocheting, I'm gonna paint my nails. Took the nail polish off that I had that was kind of falling off. Um, but yeah, that's the plan, and my dinner should be ready in like 10 minutes or so, so yeah. Okay, you guys, so it is a quarter to eight right now, so I'm going to put in the next Downton Abbey. This is episode six now, so you can see that I've watched a little bit, but it's toward the end, so I'm like, this is a good place to stop, so when I come back after break, I can kind of enjoy the last uh, three episodes. So, um, yeah, I'm going to paint my nails in the meantime, so I'm going to paint it with Ladylike by Essie, which I think is a nice natural color because I do have an interview later this week so that my nails look somewhat presentable. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to paint my nails and then afterwards just call my parents to say good night and then I'm going to read this thing and it's giving me such Downton Abbey vibes because like the main character, it's Mike, it's more of like she's like a con not like a confession but she's like kind of going back and like looking on this like going back into the past when she was a maid um and like it's like literally like during the time of like Downton Abbey so like this is like perfect so I'm like these these two things complement each other so I'm just gonna do that um so yeah I'm just gonna paint my nails and read my book and then go to bed so yeah <laughs> my reading vlog started off really good and then it just kind of went downhill um on Saturday and today but Oh well, um, I apologize, but 
yeah I feel like I've gotten a lot of stuff done and watched a lot of the Olympics and that's what counts so yeah hey guys so it's the next morning I completely <laughs> bumped my head hit the pillow last night like I fell asleep right away um, so I didn't <laughs> do like sign off on the vlog so um, it is about 8 30 now on Monday so I have class at 10 so I've just been watching the snowboarding finals but I'm just gonna do a recap of what I have read so the first part of the vlog, I ended up reading Sapiens by Yuval Harar, Noah Harari, and I was on page 118 out of 416, so I ended up reading 298 pages, which I was very proud about. I really liked this book overall. I wish it kind of focused more on the fossil record, but this one was kind of more cultural based, but yeah, I found it to be really interesting, and I really liked it, and this book is very heavy, so I'm happy that I finished it because it was just weighing down my backpack like crazy. So then finally I ended up reading 98 pages of The House at Riverton by Kate Morton. And I'm really liking this one. It's giving me Downton Abbey vibes and just like there's a murder mystery and you're trying to figure out like we don't know what happened exactly. Like, I don't know. It's very good so far. Um, it's a, This is her debut novel so it's not like The um, Forgotten Garden and The Secret Keeper are like the best ones ever so like this one doesn't live up to that one in my eyes but I'm still really enjoying it and I'm kind of just picturing Downton Abbey as I'm reading it so yeah hopefully my goal is to finish this by Friday which is the 16th so we'll see if that happens um just because I like I'm done school on Tuesday so and I have a week and a half off so hopefully like I'll be able to finish that but yeah I'm really enjoying this so far so that's the goal right now and then I have one more big book <laughs> that I need to get to so I'm very ambitious um, but I'm happy that I got Sapiens done and then this one I'm kind of a quarter of the way through so yeah so that's it guys thank you guys so much for watching I apologize that this vlog wasn't as exciting um, but I did end up reading quite a bit so um, I'm very pleased with that and it was just a lot of Olympic stuff so you know it only comes every four years so I think I'm allowed to like you know divulge myself into this um, so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time bye guys